Hi guys, back with another tutorial on how I do things in Toon Boom. This one will be really quick. Um, I recently uploaded this video that is my work in progress for a Ivy Pool map. And uh, I'll just show you the animation here real quick so we're all up to speed on what it's about. So that's the animation that I have right now. And um, what people were mostly commenting on was this turn and uh, the lip sync character. Image. So I'm just going to go. I'm going to turn off the scrubbing so you guys aren't hearing it. So yeah, this lip sync and this turn. And I'm going to kind of uh, take you through how I did both of these. First, this turn, you'll notice if I turn my camera off so that the camera doesn't move, this animation will look very different. And uh, the turn will not look as good. So. And then Ivy Pool walks off screen and you can't see her anymore because the camera doesn't follow her. So, for this turn, what I did, and I actually have this on ones, so you can see all my keyframes here. I actually did animate the two characters turning. And I did quite a few frames because I wasn't sure how fast I wanted it to go, but I wanted it to be fast and smooth. So I did quite a few to make sure it was fast and smooth. Uh, you'll see though, if I 50 and put start at 30, I'm going to turn off the sound here so we can just see this turn over and over again. You'll see that once I, if I take the camera off, it doesn't have the same bounce to it that it did before. Whereas, now let's turn the camera back on again and watch it. The camera feels a lot more alive. The, the scene feels a lot more alive. And how I accomplished this to make it feel more like the camera was whipping around them and then had to come to a stop is a few frames before the characters start to turn, I have the camera move off to the left. So this is kind of the anticipation. In animation you use anticipation to anticipate a move. So I move the camera off a little to the left and then the characters turn around and then I have the camera has to stop and it comes to a stop by moving a little bit back to the right to center the characters back in. So it, it gives the camera a little bounce. And I guess to, to further kind of show all that I'm doing, I'll move these frames off. So you'll just see, you know, this is a really simple camera move. Camera's moving over, it slowly moves back, and then bounces back into place. So that's a way to make uh, a turn like that really pop. And I recommend using a bouncing camera like that to anticipate a big camera move before any big anim like before any big camera move you do. Anytime you want the camera whipping around, if you add a little bounce to it, it feels more realistic and it feels more like someone's actually holding a camera as as compared to it being really stiff like it was before. Now, with this other part of the animation, you'll see here off to the side that I have, let me put start and stops in here, and 
turn the audio back on and play this a few times. So you'll see off to the side, I've put kind of the phonemes of uh, what's being said. I actually didn't use this when I was drawing it. I, I did this just recently now to kind of give you guys more of a visual representation um, of how I could do it. But you want to always make sure that you aren't, like, even though here she's saying, oh lord, I'm not getting O H L R D like like there's not there's not mouth movements for every single one of those letters because that's not how you talk. If you were to say, Oh Lord, you would not go, Oh Lord it People don't talk like that, and you don't make a mouth movement for every single sound, or every single letter of the alphabet. So, just especially getting these keyframes in, keep it nice and loose, keep the important uh, phonemes in there, and you'll see, with this off to the side, I kind of now have a guide. So, you know, I know that she needs to be making this O shape, but I also know that the song goes... Oh Lord, it gets like longer and and I want to accentuate the expression on her face. So, you know, I, I pull that expression back before it comes to the next phoneme. And another great thing that you can do with Toon Boom is you'll see here off to the side, I wrote the dialogue in so that instead of scrubbing through the dialogue and having to listen to it all the time to try and draw them to try and draw the the mouth movements I can now do that once and write it off to the side and write the important points in where the mouth should change so here's the O the L O R D I ha B is important. Whenever you have a B or a P sound, make sure that you give a frame for the character to uh, for their mouth to close, because the, their mouths will almost always close on a B or a P sound. B N T O and then there, her head's kind of turned off to the side, so you don't even see that. But if, if you're someone who has trouble doing lip sync, I would at first recommend trying to simplify it. Um, a lot of times people make lip sync a lot harder than it needs to be. So try simplifying it, and if you're having a real hard time um, doing your acting on the character while also trying to get good lip sync down, I recommend trying this tactic where you, you put your words off to the side and you give yourself a little visual representation of what would happen. Watch that a few times. We'll see if you just watch the mouth off to the side. While that's not perfect, it does give me a good idea of am I doing this right? Am I not doing this right? What do I need to change? Is the timing off? And you know, little things like that can stop uh, stop you from from getting a lot of emotion into your characters when you want to when you want the focus to be on the emotion and not have someone be distracted by whether or not the mouth movement looks correct. And so yeah, that's just kind of a a quick tutorial on how I've been working on this part, and I'm really excited to keep working on it. So I'll end it here, and hopefully you guys will see the finished product soon. Yeah. Talk to you later.